Hi everyone, my name is Artyom and today we are going to compare two general purpose languages, it's Golang and Java. Uh, brief disclaimer in the beginning, I believe that we don't have the worst or the best language here. Each language has over use cases, drawbacks and benefits. And I hope this video will help you to make a choice at least between those languages. And let's get started. First of all, we are going to compare languages by types. Golang is compiled language. But what makes this language unique? It's a garbage collector. So Go designers decided to make our life easier and added simple three color mark and sweep algorithm inside. And in general, as far as Golang is compiled language, it's faster than most of the interpreted language. But in case we want to run our code on another operation system, we have to recompile it each time. Java's type is quite interesting. It's interpreted and compiled language in the same time. And apart from garbage collector, it provides cross-platform development as well. Famous quote, compiled once, runs anywhere. So you're able to run your application everywhere where you're able to set up Java virtual machine. It can be smartphones, watches, or desktop application, and etc. Let's move on and compare features. Golang features looks as follows. Go supports concurrency. Concurrency in Golang implemented via Go routines and channels. As we already captured, Golang has garbage collector. Golang supports object-oriented programming. So it has composition, has encapsulation and polymorphism. Go doesn't support inheritance. Go has pointers, so it's up to you to operate with the variable via value or with the address of this variable. Go supports features from functional programming like high order functions. Go is strongly typed language. Go has powerful standard library. Uh, in Golang uh, you might see such libraries like for cryptocurrency, for networks, for uh, input output devices and etc. Go is memory safe language, so you're not able to compile your program in case you have unused variable. And basically that's it regarding Golang. Let's move on to the Java. Java features looks as follows. Java supports concurrency. Java is object-oriented programming language. It has inheritance, composition, encapsulation, polymorphism. Java has a bunch of garbage collectors. Java is strongly typed language. Since Java was developed in 1996, it has the largest standard library. It has much more capabilities in comparison to Golang, especially in the stop development. Java has Swing and JavaFX for it. Java supports exceptions, which is more elegant way of handling errors. And yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the next one. And now we'll compare performance of Golang and Java. First things first, let's compare GoRoutines and Java threads. GoRoutines is a special case of coroutines. They are managed by Go Runtime. Uh, they have faster startup time than Java threads. Um, the minimal size of stack is 2 kilobytes and can be extended accordingly. So due to this, Golang program able to run uh, millions of GoRoutines concurrently. Let's consider Java threads. Java threads managed by kernel or operation system. Each thread has own ID. Uh, we have ability to set the priorities to threads be able to interrupt any thread. Uh, we can get the current status of any thread, etc. So they have much more capabilities. But due to this, the stack size is 512 kilobytes. 
So due to this, we able to run only thousands of threads uh, concurrently. And it has slower startup time and inter-process communication is slower as well. And now we will compare them on the real examples. I will show you the snippets of the code and we will run them and see the output. So let's see how many goroutines and thread be able to run. Let's start from goroutines. I prepared the main.go file which has variable will show, which will show for us the number of coroutines that we ran. Created a wait group to not interrupt my program. And here in infinity loop, I creating continuously new coroutines. And they wait for forever just to not stop them, to see how many coroutines really we can see in the same time. So yeah, let's execute this code. Go run main that go. And yeah, now it's eighty eight thousand. Oh, and my scroll goes down. So it's already four hundred, five hundred. Soon we'll reach the million. So yeah, as you can see, we ran more than a million goroutines and they still uh, running. Let's interrupt the program and go to example with Java. The example for Java looks as follows. So quite same, uh, we creating the infinity loop where creating threads and I didn't use any mutex here and way groups or something I just made thread sleep for a long period of time but this example do the same just uh, run as many go routines as possible uh, as many threads as possible let's run so first of all we need to compile our code from uh, Java code to Java bytecode. For this, we use Java, Java compiler. And press the name of the program. Then to run this inside of the Java machine, we write Java command and then uh, the name of the class. And Let's see how many go how many threads be able to run. Yeah, only eight thousand, and then we've got exception. Yeah, because of the out of memory. That's it. So as you can see. Golang able to run more than a million Go routines and Java able to run a um, few thousand of threads. The next criteria by which we'll compare languages will be the garbage collector. Golang has garbage collector and in the latest version it's concurrent three color mark and sweep. The biggest benefit of this Garbage collector is uh, simple and lightweight, but the downside it has uh, stopped the world. And we can briefly take a look how this algorithm works. So as far as this algorithm name three colored, obviously we have three colored, usually they are white, gray and black. We have mark stage where we mark our object by these colors and sweep stage where we remove uh, garbage. 
let's start. So in the beginning, all of our objects are white. And we put them to white section. On the next stage, uh, we mark object as the gray. gray. Uh, they are root objects called. It's usually local and global variables and constants. In the next iteration, our root objects became uh, black and they are an object to which they are reference became a gray. Then the next iteration, all of our objects became uh, black and all of these white objects became a garbage. Due to this, we cleaned them on the sweep stage. Basically, that's it. How this three color mark and sweep algorithm works. Let's consider Java garbage collectors. Java has a bunch of garbage collectors, and uh, including three color mark and sweep. But from the Java 11th, it uses Z garbage collector, which is latency free, but it's quite heavier than garbage collector which used in the calling. The rest of the benchmarks you can find on the following website. I will add the link to the description section in the video. So, but in general, Go is a bit uh, better than Java comparison due to these benchmarks. For instance, here we can see that uh, Go has better metrics in terms of memory and CPU um, here as well. They are not so different, but as you can see, Go behaves better in comparison to Java because it's compiled language. The next metric by which we're going to compare these languages will be simplicity. Golang is much simpler than Java. Therefore, it doesn't support inheritance, so it has less amount of abstractions. And in our days, even Java developers trying to avoid using the inheritance and use composition instead. Uh, then the standard library of Go is so great, and for creation of web service, for instance, you need to spend about 10 lines of code and you will have your hello world web service up and running. In Java, it will take several files, several classes and configurations. So in Golang, it's much simpler. Uh, concurrency in Go implemented as well, much simpler. So to run any function concurrently, you just need to add Go keyword in the beginning communication between Go routines as well, so easy implemented via channels. And yeah, so in general, in my opinion, I think that features in Go are implemented faster than in Java. And now we are going to compare Golang and Java by use cases. Let's consider use cases for Golang. The first one, cloud and network services. Go has large ecosystem that which provides and allows you to create easier than ever new services with Golang. The second command line interfaces, Go provides robust standard library to complete this task. And apart from that, it has several open source projects like Viper and Cobra, which helps you with that. The third is web development. With Golang, you don't need to use any external library or framework either to create a web service. It will take just a few lines of code. DevOps and SRE, I mark it as bold because with Golang, you're able to create Kubernetes operators and 
it's supported by operator SDK. But Go has few areas in which it can be better. The first one is IoT and the second is embedded system. Because Go has uh, stopped the world and in which systems we just not able to stop for any period of time. Let's consider Java use cases. They are quite same as in Golang, but apart from that, uh, Java supports implementation of graphical user interfaces with help of JavaFX and Android SDK. You can easily create robust and fast applications. And the last but not least criteria that we want to consider today is the community. Obviously, as far as Java has released in 1996, it has larger community. But Golang is growing really fast and used as the main language in such companies as Google, Uber, and Dropbox, and etc. So, results as follows. So that's it for today. Now I think you're able to make a choice between those two languages and uh, let me know which language you prefer, which you like, leave a comment below and see you in the next video. Bye bye.